Let's go, dramatic door. Alright, we're gonna have to be very careful about any other bosses that might have a phase two that I was not seeing coming, because, jeez. Broken straight sword? Because I was like, okay, cool, yeah, straightforward. Just some guy in armor. First boss, straightforward. Sure, why not? And then that happened. Oh. There's, there's a lower path here that has an item at the end, and then there's the obvious higher path with a lot of... A lot of bloom going on on the screen. What's this say? Open men- yeah, okay. I figured that one out already. Hi guys. You have a shield, huh? I might have a special thing for that. Oops. Hang on a second. There we go. Oh! Rude. Gotcha. I got you. There we go. I could be wrong, but I think sort. I think weapon arts cost you something. Oh wait, no, th I think weapon arts cost you FP, just like magic does. So you have to balance which one you want to use. Because I think they both, I, both th I think they both cost you your magic. I'll have to keep an eye on that. I'll try to be thorough about exploring these locations. I'm definitely getting more- some of that, uh, dark- that, uh, Demon Souls vibe- No, uh, Bloodborne vibe from the really extensive use of these- jagged, ridiculous-looking gravestone areas where the, the, the headstones just stick in every direction they want to. And everything's desaturated and covered in roots. That seems to be more of a, of a next-gen From Software thing than specifically a Bloodborne thing. Then all these huddled masses and rat- and these flowing robes. Oh, they're what? They are... armed? Hi, guys. That's cool. It's cool. Oh, you're guarding your little friend. That's cute. Now he dies. Ow. Kind of thought I'd get there in time. What's over here? Not a whole lot, actually. Yeah, I'm actually surprised how much this looks like this much. How much this looks like Bloodborne. We were de some of us were definitely wrong when we when we were looking at Bloodborne as this big departure from the Souls art style. So, it looks like that's just how this studio makes stuff when given more graphical fidelity. Let's give him a little poke, huh? Let's give him a little poke. Yay! Bye! So satisfying. You only get so many chances to kick, you know? Look at that tree, by the way. Am I gonna ha- I feel like I should expect something to be in that tree at some point. A little bit of a- You, you, give us smooth! Just predicting. They love to have their crows. So much. Is there another monster in there already? What is that? A throne. Oh, that is dramatic and bloody. Okay. How many babies have been sacrificed in that chamber lately? That's, it may sound morbid, but this is the franchise that had an actual uh, swamp that was made swampy by the blood of countless sacrificed fetuses. Uh, dis... dis <laughs> the unborn discarded into a pit over and over again. From Software has, uh, their fun with evocative imagery. Jump attack. Yep, it's, it's still forward and right trigger. Oh, here's the question. Did my health get longer when I became whole fiery? That's something I need to take closer comparison to. What's up there? There's a dude up there. I'm waiting for me to look at some item in description, and then I get swarmed by a invader or something. East-West shield. So, oh, they start you off. This class started off with a 100% physical shield. This one's significantly weaker. Does it have a specific strength? I'm gonna say no. It's oh, it's better at magic defense, but only marginally. Wooden shield decorated with the ancient symbol of a two-headed eagle. Close to a small shield in size, wood shields are light, manageable, and offer a relatively High magic absorption as a parry skill. Yeah, that's exactly what it's, it's what parry always does. An orthodox metal shield. Medium shields are the most average of shields, providing a practical balance of damage absorption, stability, and weight. The kite shield very much resembles what you what I would use early on in Dark Souls 2 if I wanted a 100% defense shield, along with the uh, King's armor. I think it was called the Drain Lake armor. Ember. We're finding new toys, left and right. 
Gain strength of flame. Boosts hit points until death. Interesting. Interesting. Alright. But it's not currently equipped. How do you equip things? Uh. Use, leave, discard. Switch, show item info. Must have to just click on here? Switch, there we go. So you do have to manually equip things now. Interesting. That's good to know. Let's get rid of all these things I don't care about. And, uh, oh, this is the tool belt, though. Dummy. They made it surprisingly... Oh, there we go. Okay, th th there's some... <laughs> <laughs> there are a few awkward controls to be- there we go. Here's where you equip your actual usables. Let's, pour, let's throw a firebomb on there, in case we choose to. This is the tool belt. This is the equivalent of, uh, the, the Bloodborne, like, pause- the, the quick menu that you had for items. I was mixing it up with your actual tool belt- your actual, uh, your down items. Which, of course, are where I want my flask and so on. It looks like they don't automatically add stuff to it constantly against your will, which is handy, because just having basic explore exploration constantly fill up your bars with stuff you don't care about was sometimes actually deadly. Hello. Second homeward bone, but not a lot else around here. Look at that d detail in this environment. It's actually pretty fantastic. Like, if you look at it really up close, it's not the most intense graphical fidelity ever. It just isn't. But uh, the, the artwork is fantastic. There's just so much atmosphere to everything around me right now that it, you get the you get this this intense feeling that everything was very carefully constructed piece by piece, where a lot of games feel like a bunch of art assets jumbled art assets jumbled together almost at random. All right, let's deal with the guy that was. Wait, sir, can I get on that ledge? Seems pointless. This guy, are you a trap? You look like a, you look like you're depraved. Is he? Oh, he is in. Ooh, he is in, like, a katana sword art mode. Hey, friend. Oh, hello. Oh, are you a PvP character? Sort of? Let's go ahead and heal up then real quick, just in case. Friend? Oh, he is a durable one. That's something to be worried about. Stabby, stabby, stabby! Careful. He's gonna recover. Oh, oh, that was a mistake. And he's applying bleed, so let's watch out. Okay. He's not, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slightly precarious environment to fight in. With all the uh, altitude changes. Uh, he's going for the shield break. Ow, he's really going for the shield break, actually. He might actually kill me. Oh. Some disappointed, some very disappointing misses recently. Oh, that was just a block. He's going for the power hits. We can both do that. Oh, crap. Oh, I'm in trouble now. Okay, he's a nasty one. This probably would be a bad time to try to practice my parry. <laughs> Watch out. Very careful here. Use... Use the distance advantage I have. Ooh. You spooking me out, man. You spooking me. Oh. Very bad judge of distance there. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Look where this is going. Very poorly for me, probably. There we go. Alright. We got the Uchigatan at the beginning of the playthrough. That's a bit of a surprise. Cannot use. Unable to use it effectively with the current assets. Or uh, attributes. You need 16 decks. That'll be something to work on anyway, though. You need a katana characterized by the fine craftsmanship of an eastern land where it was forged. The finely sharpened blade cuts flesh like butter and causes bleeding, but breaks easily as a result, so... 
His skill, his ability was that he would assume a holding stance and rapidly execute a lunging slash with, and with a normal attack or deflecting parry with a strong attack. Oh, he goes into an alternate stance where he prepares to fight back in different ways. So this is the Uchikatana. Can I do that? Oh yeah, that's what he was doing here. So light, light attack. And then strong attack. Oh yeah. Parry. Attack. Interesting. That could be fun to use. But not for this character right now, at least. That drop is significant. I was toying with the idea of throwing him down there. It didn't seem very realistic at some point, though. What was he guarding? What? Firelink Shrine? What? We're, we're, Firelink, we're back at Firelink Shrine? That's where this is? Is this is this related to the Undead Asylum in some way? Or is it a different Firelink Shrine? Either way, what the hell am I looking at in there? There's candles, there's a bunch of statues gathered around some kind of glowy item that seems important. But we just flat out can't go that way yet. Well, at least the Uchikatana man is dead. Looks like these guys, a lot of people seem to have had some trouble with him. Can I just mash A? Ah, You can't get the Scholar of the First Sin feeling of having a blood pool where you just find out how everyone died all at once. Alrighty, fine. Onwards we go into the creepy ritual room. I think it's time. Are you Firelink Shrine? Is that what, is that what I'm going to find out here? Is this Firelink Shrine? Whoa. If this is Firelink Shrine, then they went right back to Demon Souls in another way. You've got a woman hanging out by the place, probably to talk to you. That's probably the crestfallen warrior to be all like, Oh, everyone's doomed. There's no sense in trying. And this place looks just like the Nexus with its, uh... Set this, the circular room and the spiral staircase going up. Except it doesn't go on for like 50 years, so you don't have to... Oh wait, maybe it does over here. It might actually go on for years. Oh no. How big is it? This place is cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, the giants are back. Well, the giant trees are still here, I mean. Alright, so Dark Souls 2 is canon. As much as some people try to pretend th that it shouldn't be or something. I'm not particularly opinionated there, honestly. We were just down there a moment ago. Yeah, the so we have a, a we have a reappearance of the giant's trees. Some kind of tower. I can't help but I want to look around a little bit. Obviously there's story down there. We'll get to it out that in a second. Desecrated corpse, a ladder for later. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. I do hear something. A uh, glittering. Is that a crystal lizard? Does not appear to be a secret wall, at the very least, but I think there's a crystal lizard up there somewhere. Ooh, hello. Nope, can't jump up there. But there's an item to get up there, too, so we're gonna want to fall back down here later. And examine this tree. A seed of a giant tree is yet to fall. Oh! They brought back the seeds that let, uh, if they worked like they used to, that would mean that they would let you turn all of the AI companions, all the AI in the, in the game against your inv your PC invaders. Hip. Oop, oh, fall damage just for that height. Keep that in mind. Ooh. Holy King Lothric. Last hope of his line. It's a very specific engraving to include. Look at this thing. Frankly, it just looks uncomfortable. Well, it must not have been a very wealthy king if he couldn't afford a comfortable chair. Bam, science. Gotcha. Is there a whole line here? Yorm the Giant of the Profaned Capital. So that was definitely one of the characters from the intro. Watches the Abyss. Why is it plural if it's one crown is what I'm... If it's one uh, throne is what I'm wondering. Ludeth the Exiled. Saint Aldrich of the Deep. 
That, 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 it looked like a weird mud pile or octopus of some kind. In the intro scene. So those must be the four great souls as just true to the history of the series. Let's meet the crestfallen warrior. Ah, another one roused from the sleep of death. Well, you're not alone. We unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. <laughs> Gives me conniptions. And they'd have us seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. But we're talking true legends with the metal to link the fire. We're not fit to lick their boots. Don't you think? <laughs> yep, absolutely, Crestfallen Warrior. And it looks like those, yeah, those are going to be the big boss fights we try to take down, and I guess their souls must re-inhabit these locations as, we, as they get, to get defeated? Why does that one have like a doll in front of it? Oh, there's actually a person up there. What is that? What is up with that? Why is there someone there? That's something that, st that stands out from the others. Oops. And I am making grave platforming mistakes. Let's try that again. Hello? It looks like a child with no legs or something. All that unkindled and a seeker of lords. I am Ludleth of Corland. Look not in bewilderment as I say. I linked the fire long ago, becoming the Lord of Cinder. If substantiation be thy want, set thine eyes upon my child cause. This sad cadaver, no need to be coy. Have a closer look. No star of our purpose. Five thrones will take five lords as kindling for the linking of the fire. The fast fading flame must be licked to preserve this world. A reenactment of the first linking of the fire. So it is, I became a lord of Cinder. I may be but small. But I will die a colossus. Now, now, do not be away over long. So it very much seems that these are all the previous chosen undead, basically, the Lords of Cinder. If they all linked the fire before and they're trying to do it again as a group, or that's the goal of some of us at least, then it seems like the pre their previous protect like the they're like the previous protagonists of the games, if not given. If not, if not those exact ones, because usually your your role on some level was to link the fire, and to try to prolong the, the age of man just a brief bit longer, another millennia or so before someone has to do it again. And it seems like at long last the fire is finally dying out. All right, we've put this off for long enough. Welcome to the bonfire, unkindled one. I'm a firekeeper. I tend to the flame, and tend to thee. The lords have left their thrones, and must be delivered to them. To this end, I am at thy side. Ashen One, to be unkindled is to be a vessel for souls. Sovereignless souls will become thy strength. I will show thee how. Ashen One, bring me souls plucked from their vessels. Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. Let these souls withdrawn from their vessels. Manifestations of disparity, elucidated by fire, burrow deep within me. Retreating to a darkness beyond the reach of flame. Let them 
assume a new master, inhabiting ash, casting themselves upon new forms. I never expected this to go quite as Demon Souls as it is. All the way down to having someone who says touch the darkness inside me and then she starts chanting as you level up. So we can currently afford five level ups. Which would not be terribly invested if I put them straight into health to increase my health by like 50% right now I think. That would not hurt. Also tempted by dexterity because of my penchant for those types of weapons. This would increase my damage relatively, really, relatively minorly, really. Honestly, that's such a big health boost. I think I'm just going to dive straight into that to start things off. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames guide thee. So is this our great bonfire at the, at the middle? Oh, this doesn't seem to do anything. Praise the sun. It was to be expected, wasn't it? Did I see Andre back there? It, wow. That is the same animation and the same... Up close, it's probably not the same character model, but from here it looks like they literally plastered him in here from the first game, which is not a sight I expected. Are there characters down each of these holes? Oh man, I'm, so, I'm really excited. There's so many places I want to look at already. I don't even know how big the world's going to be. Oh, hello. Oh, you look like Falcon or something like that. Oh, he looks like the guy that gives you access to the, uh, the dark or the deep faction. The one that lets you get to Dark Lurker. A pleasure to make thine acquaintance, Ashen One. I am but a humble handmaid of the shrine. Weapons, armor, trinkets, and spells. I've lots of little things to ease the burden of a weary traveler. And yes, I'm undead too, but not so charitable as to give my goods away. Ashen One, fetch souls and bring them to me. As is thy want, no? <laughs> Ashen One, if my wares are not to thy satisfaction, bring me umbral ash. With ash, I'll fashion new wares. Is it not our sorry fate to sup on death? <laughs> well, they sell then. So I was obviously mistaken. If anything, it looks like she most resembles the old women from the beginning of Dark Souls 2. But you know, the chair gave me the first impression. Prism stones are back. They'll always be back. Just once, can they can they last after you rest at a bonfire though? Because the fact I love I like the idea of prism stones, but the, the fact that they disappear makes me never really use them. We already have our heal. Scimitar is one of many dex options I could go after for if I want to go dex in this playthrough. Sells more embers. Dried fingers. Should only be used with the, with the greatest of caution. Online player item. Dried finger with multiple knuckles. Used to strengthen connection to other worlds, allowing summoners uh, the summoning of a third phantom, but also a second dark spirit. Also makes the summoning of a dark spirit occur earlier. Use with caution. Wow. So this is like the Scholar of the First Sin multiplayer thing of like, hey, you get another ally. And, you know, a whole lot more bad guys. No big deal. Just You're just in grave danger. That's all. That is all. Our torches are back. Good to know. It'll, be, it'll take time to figure out if they work exactly the way they do in, in the previous game. Be sure to bring more souls. <laughs> How big is Firelink now? Some sort of crazy underground area? Somewhere around here there's gonna be a series of statues holding a glowing thing, and that's gonna be what opens to the, to the door we saw before. Oh yeah, that's a new model, I think. I think they might have used the exact same animation, though. Well, a newcomer, I see. 
I am Andre. I serve at this shrine as a humble smith forging weapons. You're in search of the Lords of Cinder, I trust. A toilsome journey, I'd wager. You'll require good arms. Let me smith you weapons. I am a smith. Such is my purpose. He's still Blacksmith Andre. I only have new questions now. <laughs> Interesting. And they even kept the part where he's like the one guy that has lip has a moving mouth, which is just a totally different- it's totally separate from anything in a Souls games, really. It's just so unusual, usually. A lot Estus. Oh! You can create a ratio, that's really interesting. Sure. Reinforced Flask, so with, with an Estus Shard you get more Estus, but you choose the ratio between mana and health items. Reinforcing a weapon, such as my spear, to plus one, will cost me... 290 souls, and... Where is the actual item requirement? Additional items required? Yeah, I'm looking for the listing there. Oh, Titanite Shards on the left side of the screen. I was looking at the right required souls on the top right. Weapons and protection are sturdy enough by and large. But when overused, they'll eventually break. When their durability is low, repair becomes a necessity. Use a powder, or simply rest at a bonfire. But should chance impel them break, bring them me. I'll hammer them back into shape. They take no pleasure in breaking, I assure ye. So handle them with care, if you would. Pretty be careful. I don't want to see my work squandered. <laughs> Blacksmiths love that joke throughout all the Souls games. Don't die, I worked hard on that crap. Seriously. Where, where is this going to lead to? I'm just happy to wander around Firelink Shrine for a little while. Is that... Did I hear anything dangerous? I'm getting that Chalice Dungeon vibe right now. Seems like just a dead end. Is that a ladder? That is not something I can climb. Yep, there's a ledge up there. You need to be on the upside of that, though. There's definitely something that sounds like it's just outside the wall attacking something. There's so many opportunities for something to be around here. I'm gonna take a little bit of a break, guys, but thanks for watching like always. I am excited to continue. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be a fun playthrough. I can already tell.